Uh, and has made a big impact already, partner. Yes, sir. From Herndon, Virginia, about two hours north of Charlottesville. Not only is she from Notre Dame in the same league, but she's right up the road from Rutgersville, Virginia. Yep, about 15 miles away. This three is off from the near wing. K.K. White. Your screen, Lacey Drake, a sophomore, who only made one start last season in the lineup for back-to-back -back games. Miller, a three. That's cash. Carol Miller, it's so weird to see a senior who's been with the program now for four straight years. Uh, different than usual in college basketball. Bell gets a piece of it. Brunel drives the baseline, misses, grabs an offensive rebound, and the deuce for Sam. Fours in the second half. Brunel lines up the triple. Booyah! Cavaliers in front by eight, and Sam Brunel, an early factor for UVA. Looking forward to all season long, Cavaliers in front by eight. Brunel can bring it down. They have a lot of different options to get down the floor quickly and score before the defense sets up. Although right there, Kiara Bell with a really nice play out of the timeout. You'll see their centers run. You'll see them throw it ahead to those centers, too. Clarkson in the lane, that's good, plus one. London Clarkson off the bench. And signals out the play. She do, do a lot of high-low action. Here she is. McLean adjusts and finishes. So athletic. This is an isolation. Clear the side for the post player to go one-on-one -on -one with that strong right hand. Defense. McCalla, an all MEAC player. Playing here after her four years were up at Morgan State. Right down the road to UMBC, Cameron Taylor. She, she can do everything. There, there's literally nothing on the floor that she can't do, and she does it all with enthusiasm. The freshman Vaughn on the takeaway, underneath McKenna Dale with the lay-in. Babers has been a, a little quiet on his availability. A lot of people in the 3-1-5 thinking, give Sean Tucker the ball a little bit more. Should be a fun weekend in college football. 21-12, the lead for Virginia. With 1.30 remaining in this first quarter. Lawson stays hot from beyond the arc. Stike inside out. There are three real good ways to shoot the three. Entry. I know coaches don't like the word perfect, Mac, but this is a pretty perfect offensive first quarter for UVA. 26 points already. Yeah, and, and that includes quite a few misses close to the rim. Really nice take. Second basket in a row. Valaday to Brunel. The pick and pop. No. Offensive rebound, Cameron Taylor. Valade a triple. Brunel with positioning underneath. And Sam Brunel caps off a long offensive possession. Well, the one thing Coach Mox told people this season, people don't talk about her passing enough, so we'll see if that's on display tonight. That is a nice move. The spin and the score from Staple. And I think for Virginia, example number one is Taylor Valade. Coach Mox said going into the season, we want her to have the ball and have more offensive chances just like that one. McCalla, open tray, misfires, and Valade from the guard spot rebounds. Valade, assertive, into the lane and scoops it home. Now her speed is tough. You, you, have to, you have to be back already. And this is what you talked about earlier. Players aside from the point guard bringing the ball up the floor and the Cavaliers still converting. Exactly full circle. Local girl goes away to Notre Dame and comes home for her final year in basketball. This is going to be special. Speaking of special, here McLean is too. You give a player like that the green light? Oh, gosh, yeah. With those long arms and athleticism and her experience, she knows when to do it, when not to do it. Speaking of knowing when to do it, Sam Brunel knows. That was from Blacksburg. It's incredible to watch this Virginia team. And when Coach Mox walked in the door for the first practice, she looked around and she said, how did this team not have success last season? There's so much talent. They've done a lot of good things, but uh, uh, Virginia's size has bothered them on both ends of the floor. Brunel, again! It is target practice for Sam Brunel! It does not matter where she is on the floor. Count on and trust. Here's a complete overload to empty the backside of the defense. Malier still turning on the engine. Taylor swooping and scoring. It is a 31-point advantage for the Hoos. 
He's got 11. And the Cavaliers defending this final possession. Dixon weaving. Open shot. Good. Paloma Iradir caps off the first half. Well, if the Retrievers are to find something from the outside, it would be just their second three-point make of the season. This is a two, and it's from Asia McCallum. But she won't get credit for it. She's a pest, isn't she? <laughs> She's really good. Brunel, good. Sam Brunel up to 15 points in her second ever game as a home player. For Coach Mox, she wants the best out of her players for all 40. Good execution right there. McKenna Dale with a two. No. Volleyballed around and taken for UVA. Alexia Smith back in the game for the Cavaliers. Vaughn, a tray. Yes! Mix it up. Alexia Smith brings it down. Horn set for UVA. Vaughn takes the screen. Floats it up and in. This young lady does not play like a freshman. That's the play we were talking about. Draw the defense, kick it out, wide open three. They didn't make it, but they executed their offense. Clarkson, the lay-in. Shot clock is down to three seconds here. Let's see if they realize it. Smith hoists and scores! How about a perfect possession? Transition. Dale almost landed on the floor with the ball, and now UMBC with the takeaway. Four on two. Dixon, the pull up. Cash. Keela Dixon, the graduate student from Boston in her second year. Clarkson slips to the basket. McLean twirls. Draws a triple. Oh, what a beauty! Sunia Rivers transfers from South Carolina. Zasia Kelly with North Carolina. Returning player of the year, Elizabeth Kittley with Virginia Tech. And I don't think that'll be the only teams in the top 25 in the ACC. It, Mac, it's like a kid going to the toy store. How do you pick one? How do you pick one to talk about? So this Cavaliers team improving, and, and a team you didn't even mention, you know, the Syracuse Orange with Felicia Leggett-Jack bringing that success from Buffalo. How about that pretty move from Clarkson? On the opposite side of that, how concerning is it to only have 11 players on a roster, Mac? Since the 2014-15 season, that UVA has scored 80 points in back-to-back -back games. You like in the eighth grade. <laughs> I was just learning geometry. Vaughn to the basket. Plus one. Shrug the shoulders, too. A little flex right there. Valade, smallest player for UVA, had an offensive rebound. Couldn't finish. 2-1-1 UMBC. McCalla dishes right back, and the layup is good for Scoop Smith. Valaday, a lightning bolt, stings the D. Sure does, and, and one of the places that it takes the most time is on the defensive end. Who now the finish? Fruit, according to ESPNW. So you said UMBC will have more troubles on the defensive end as Valaday is blocked. There's a strong defensive play for Lawson. Possibly to get guarantee checks, possibly to, you know, to see where you are. And Coach Hayes is learning a lot about her team tonight. Offensive rebound for UVA. 20th of the night. McLean and one. Get it to go. McLean there for the board. So Dixon made a nice move there, but McLean so long and athletic still kept her from making the shot. How about that time from Valaday? Really impressive. Second year with Virginia after transferring from Marquette. Dixon, long two, got it. Fourth quarter, we thank you so much for joining us on ACC Network Extra with Matt McCarthy. I'm Corey Spector. Virginia in control as Cameron Taylor has another bucket. Here's the play where they empty out the backside. Complete overload. And Brunel showing the muscle. She will take advantage of that. I'm sure she will. Yeah. This is a three. Katie Pauley misses an offensive rebound for Lawson. Vaughn, open, triple, bucket. Laura LaCambra in the game, 33 in black. You've been waiting to say that name. Oh, I know yeah. yeah. Freshman from Spain, did not play against Gettysburg. Pauley's three is good. There's half of it. 
I can't imagine scoring three. And Pauly with the interception. Lawson darts to the rim, 99. All 11 players for UVA have found the score sheet tonight. Cavaliers fans behind us at least starting to get on their feet. They want 100. Oh, so close. And now they get it. And the final possession for UMBC. Antonia May in the lane. Oh, Carol Lawson says no, no. Lacombra. Good. Five players for the Cavaliers in double figures tonight. And UVA absolutely routes UMBC. And Coach Knox is 2-0 here with the Cavs.